Welcome back everybody, this is Oasis back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. So in the last video I've given you an introduction of Bootstrap and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a responsive navigation bar. So right now you can see I have the brand image, I have four links and if I just change the browser size to tablet size and you will notice the links will collapse and then if I change this to mobile size then it will still be collapsed now we have this button if i click on that i see that a nice navigation happening for the mobile version of the website and if i just expand that our links will come back so this is a fully responsive navigation bar we will be building and i'll give you some tips and tricks how to customize this so such as changing the font color making sure that whatever the active the link is that's going to have a different color and then i'll show you how to create drop down menus in the next video but uh, let's go ahead and start with our navigation bar tutorial so we have this project what we created in the last video if you haven't seen the last video make sure you check it out i'll drop a link in the description or there may be a card here just click on that so we set up this project for our bootstrap training we have three folders assets css scripts and we have index.html file that's what you are looking at right now so to create a navigation bar first of all i want to show you the documentation for that so let's go to the bootstrap website we're going to click on components and then in the components we click on navigation bar here so in the navigation bar they will give you a a sample code that you can use to create this kind of navigation bar so in this navigation bar we have the brand we have two links we have the drop down menu search bar button link and another drop down menu all right so this is the sample code you can check it out but we are going to start with the scratch Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Here we're going to start with the nav tag. So let's open nav tag and then we're going to use the CSS class which is coming from bootstrap.css file. So I'll type class and here we type nav bar space nav bar dash default. And if you notice that I'm getting a suggestions for bootstrap. So the reason why I'm getting is because I have installed this extension bootstrap 4 and phone awesome. This is a great extension created by Ashok Koi. It's got a good rating and it's been downloaded for 14,882 times. So if you want to use a bootstrap, I would highly suggest that download this extensions. It's pretty much just search for bootstrap here and search for it and this is going to be your fourth extension so check it out if you're not sure i'll drop a link in the description now let's go back to our index.html file so we got the nav tag open and close and we use the css uh, class which is coming from bootstrap let's create links for our navigation bar so first one is going to be home and then we have portfolio skills project and contact to create those link onto the navigation bar, we need to start with the div tag. So let's just type div. We're gonna add a class coming from Bootstrap again. And the class is going to be collapsed because we wanna make it responsive, right? If we would change our browser size to mobile or tablet, it should collapse to the mobile size and we should see the menu button and then we can click on that to see the menu bar. Now the class is collapse nav bar dash collapse and then we can set the id as well so for the id just say menu items and then inside that div tag i'm going to start with a ul so it's an on order list so let's just start with that class is going to be nav nav bar dash nav and then let's just come down close this on order list tag and inside that we can add our list item so let's just type first list item and then we can start with the a tag which is going to be a link because we need to create those links so start with that href for now we're going to just add a hash sign inside href because we don't want this link to take us away from our website so 
let's just get out from there and then here I can just close this a tag and then close the ally tag now press option and shift or alt and shift on windows and option and shift on mac to make a copy of these lines now inside the anchor tag we're going to type first of all home and then the second one is going to be portfolio i've actually written that inside and after the href tag so make sure you write it properly portfolio and then here next one is going to be skills this is kind of resume website i'm creating so anyone want to create a resume website let's just save all of these and then we are going to look at this into the browser let's just open this file and there you go so we got four links and this navigation bar is fully responsive why decrease the size if i go to let's say when we learn the grid system then you will have better understanding at what break point it just disappears so we got these links but we need to create uh, a button here so for that we can start on the top so in the navigation bar let's just make a bit of space here now to create that button we need to start with the div tag but first let me show you this uh, page here this is the page that we're working on what I want to do I want to just add all of this data into a div tag and with the class named container which is again coming from bootstrap let's do that first let's add a div tag class container and then let's close it and then I'm gonna add a div tag just after this so let's just close that as well and now I'm gonna show you guys page again it's going to move over links a little bit to the right let's go back to the code and here we're going to start with another div tag so let's start div class is going to be nav bar dash header this is going to be nav bar header let's close this come down close the div tag and now inside that div tag we start with the button so let's just open a button tag and then give it a type which is going to be button again we're going to use the bootstrap class so type class and then the class is nav bar dash toggle and then we use another class collapsed and then after that let's just type data dot toggle is equal to collapse and then we need to target the data what data we want to target right so we want to target this div tag okay so we have this div classes collapse nav bar, nav bar collapse and we declare that the id which was a menu item so we want to target this so everything inside this will be collapsed so for that we can type data dash target is equal to and then add quotation in the quotation start with the hash sign and type the name whatever you have here as an id so we're targeting the id right so let's say menu items okay and then after that let's just type area dot expanded and then make it false and then let's just come down to the next line close the button tag and inside the button tag now we need to use let's say span so let's just open span again and then class the first class is going to be sr only and this is not going to show anything but we need to type which what is it so this is toggle navigation button navigation and then after that let's just type span class and then there's another class from bootstrap which is icon bar and then let's just close the span and then press alt shift on windows i'm on the mac so i'll press option and shift and press the down arrow key to make a copy of this let's save the file so let me explain to you one more time here so we created a div we declared that this is a div for navigation header by using the class name navbar header inside that we created a button and we give it a type of button we use the class navbar toggle and then collapse 
then we have a data toggle which is a collapse and then we targeted the data so what data we want to target we want to target this we want to target this data right so id for this data is a menu item so we type hash menu items and we set area expanded to false now let's save the file let's go to the page refresh the page and now if i just change this on the the smallest spec point which is on a mobile version so if i click on this as you can see we got the nice animation or animation happening we can see our menu bar by pressing that button let's expand that now one more thing i want to add here i want to add inside this uh, div container which is going to be in our website logo to add that it can be called a brand image so i don't want to collapse that i want to make sure that even on the mobile or on the tablet i want to see on the left side i want to see that all right so what i can do here instead of just putting that inside this i'll just add this to navbar header so after the button tag we start with an anchor class so let's just open a tag and then inside that we use the class class is going to be navbar dash brand image and then href we just type hash here we don't want it to go anywhere and then after let's just close the a tag inside the a tag we start with the image src and i'm going to type hash for now because we don't have any image in the assets folder i'm just going to bring it in but uh just type hash for now and then for the width and height we could do that in our css file which is our own styling style.css we'll talk about it we don't have anything yet but we'll talk about it in the future videos so for now we just declare our width and height right here for that i will just type 30 pixels height make it rectangular so give it 30 and then alternative text so which is alt and we can just say my website name away from me which is my portfolio website okay now I'm gonna just copy and paste some images into the asset folder so give me a second alright so in the assets folder we have all of these images these are the few images for social links as well such as Twitter and Facebook and uh, I don't have a image for YouTube yet but we will download that but you will get an idea what to do here so I have this my picture one this is going to be the brand image this is just to demonstrate how you can do it so in the source now we can just type assets and then here we can select my oops so my image what's the name for that that's my image dot jpg save the file let's go to the page and refresh it and there we go so we got the brand image but once i just collapse this take it to the tablet and as you can see here even on the mobile that brand image is not collapsing so it stays there this is kind of logo here so i can just uh, see that navigation there all right so this is how you can create a navigation bar and one question you might be thinking about is that if we use bootstrap is our navigation bar is going to be the same for all the websites we create and the answer is no you can customize that navigation bar this is just to create a navigation bar and then you will target these classes inside your own styling let me quickly give you an example so we have this nav bar header class right so we want to target that so what we will do we'll go to our style.css and here we'll type whatever the name was so let's just copy this name here and then here we can paste it and then inside that i'm just going to change the background color and we set that to let's just say orange all right let's save it I'm gonna refresh the page and there you go we got the orange background color for our this uh, brand image okay so to to declare the whole orange color 
what I can do, I can actually delete this and let's find out the class. So we have this container class, so we can target that. But instead of just targeting the container class, because we're going to have more containers in our HTML file, this document, because we're going to be creating our image library down there in the future videos, and we need to use a Jumbotron as well. So the container class is pretty generic. So instead of just targeting that, I can't target the ID for that. So let's just declare an ID and let's just say header sorry menu item header I'm not really good with the naming conventions but this is what I have to offer right now so let's just target the ID with the high sign and then I'm gonna paste the name and then inside that we just type background color and let's just say green make it green let's just save the file and there we go we got the green background color for our navigation bar and you could target the whole lot as well but you need to know how to use the classes and ids all right so let me just remove this starting it doesn't look nicer right let's save the file all right guys thanks for watching so this is how you create a navigation bar with the help of bootstrap and you can even customize this there's so many other things that you can study i would always suggest that read the documentation for from the original creator which is getbootstrap.com to get better with bootstrap because there's so many things that i can't explain in like one course or video you need to study yourself as well such as static top so static top we will look at in the future videos once we create our um, image gallery for our website then i'll show you what is static top fix to top and fix to bottom you see a lot of websites have the navigation bar which sticks on the top this is what it is they use this uh, fix to top if they use bootstrap now that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one and pretty soon subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers today i've reached 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.